Hi, uh, quick, I thought I'd do a quick inbox review of probably what's going to be my next uh, project. Um, Eddard uh, is the Vietnam scooter, uh, limited edition. Um, as you can see, we've got some nice uh, box art there. Uh, kit number is 1197. Uh, a bit more information on the side there. And we've got quite a lot of options in this one. Six have gone into the side there. Uh, oh yes, in fact, it actually suits. Here we go. Uh, photo etched details and painting masks. Six marking options for Vietnam era A4EF. Uh, cartograph printed details and Eddard a brazen seat. So nice, uh, nice few bits and pieces in there. Let's get right in. Over there, so let's start the instructions. Uh, usual way of quality. Um, we've got a nice uh, glossy brochure, um, all in English at the front page. Bit of information about the aircraft, um, and parts call out usual sort of stuff uh, paints are sort of in the guns range only uh, those things um, there's a few parts here that are marked as not used well, shows the, obviously the photo etch the masks and the resin um, looks like it's gonna be a pretty quick build we pretty much start with the cockpit um, the sort of intakes uh, the exhaust out the back and pretty much straight on to putting two halves together on the first page a few little bits of photo etching, various components, um, fairly standard stuff. Obviously, you have to be a bit careful here because there is differences uh, depending on what markings you're going for. So you probably do need to decide fairly early on uh, which version um, you're going you're gonna to build. <coughs> um, then we've got various lumps and bumps. Um, note that obviously there's the different sort of uh, spine here. You've got this larger one or markings A to C. Uh, it's just this smaller part and you won't need the larger um, part. Wings flaps down or up, which is good. So that's nice. Yep. Posable flaps. We've then got landing gear, front wheel. Um, I don't know whether this is likely to be a tail sitter. Oh yes, it does actually mention here, thing to note, uh, weight required. It doesn't say how much, but obviously it's always best to try and cram in as much as you can. Uh, so wheels, various bits and bobs. And we've got various lumps and bumps going on at the tail. Um, we've got no weapons for this, but it, um, as some of you may already know, it's a Hasegawa Rebox. Um, uh, unsurprisingly, there's, with Hasegawa kits, you've got to buy the weapons separate. Um, you do get fuel tanks, and I guess if you've got, you know, maybe look in the spares box, see what bits and pieces you can find. At least you've got uh, the hard points. Um, then we've got the seat, obviously resin seat. Looks like there's some decors for the seat, uh, plus obviously various photo etch parts, including belts. Uh, some mirrors for the canopy. Um, doesn't show whether the canopy can be posed open or closed, but it is in two parts, so I guess it probably can be. Um, various bits and bobs, pico tube, etc. Um, then what's nice, you get a boarding ladder. Um, so I guess you know if you can get a pilot figure or something like that, you can have him climbing into the cockpit, maybe or something. I don't know. Um, few bits of glass going on here for lights and then we go on to a, a quite a comprehensive um, guide to the masks looks like we've got masks for the canopy the wheels and in fact for the clear parts on the on the wings as well by the looks of things so that's quite handy and then we go on to color guide um, yes you've got some really nice choices here fantastic colors uh, well, I particularly like this one with the sort of uh, eagle or whatever it is on the corner there. It's nice. Um, so again, nice blue tail. Um, golden dragons, this one here, which has got the sort of yellow with the different coloured 
so that's all right. I know you can see that the different colored parts on the tail. And we've then got Lady Jessie, which I think is the one which was which we started off at the beginning here. Um, and we then got this rather nice one flying uh, red cox, which has got this sort of blue starred stripe. So you've got some really good choices there. Actually, it's going to be quite difficult to decide, I think, which um, which one to go for, if I'm honest. But we'll see. Okay, uh, I think what we'll do, we'll go through a little bit some pieces first, then we'll go through the plastic. Plastic comes in one packet, it's not individual packs. And it actually quite clearly says, uh, made in Japan, more than imported by Edard. Um, so, here we go. Okay, we'll start off with the resin parts here. Um, resin seat. It's not bad. There's a reason, I don't know whether you can see that, but the camera focused quite well. It's got a reasonable amount of detail. It's a fairly simple seat. I've never having seen the real one, I can't tell you, but uh, I suspect it uh, you know, wasn't that sophisticated, maybe. Got some cushion there, which is nice, got some nice texture to it. The belts obviously are part of the photo etch. A um, bit of a shame, really, but it would be nice to have them all part of the, the resin. I won't bother to open the masks, they're usual Edel masks, usually pretty good. We've then got a single sheet, I think, here of Photo Etch. I will get that out so you can take a closer look. <coughs> this is, we can get it here. Oh, be careful, there's some clear acetate sheet for the gun sight or the HUD display, I guess. Um, and then we've got these really nice, the usual standard, you know, head on photo etch, it's, it's good. You know, you're not really going to have any dramas. There's lots of quite small pieces there, so you're going to be a little bit fiddly. Um, but I guess it's up to you whether you use them. Let's be honest, you probably won't really notice them if you were to miss them out, as long as you use the main bits. I think it's going to be quite nice. Um, but that looks nice, the seat belts obviously there as well. That's all good. I'll pop that straight back in the bag. And then we've got this quite large um, decal sheet to look, to look at. It's nice, I think this is a resealable bag here, so that's quite handy. Pop those out. He says, hopefully, we can get them out without splitting the bag. Uh, quite clearly, says the cartograph. Um, wow, I mean, what, what can I say? You know, the cartograph decals, they're very glossy. Um, extremely glossy, in fact. You know they're going to go down well. I think, don't think you're going to have much issue with carrier film or um, anything like that. They're, Really, really nice. Very, very clear. I suspect you'd better read all the small. If I can get in close enough, you may be able to see them. I don't know. It's not going to focus and the light's shining horribly on it. Sorry about that. But they're a beautiful, that's a beautiful decal sheet. Um, not too many stencils either, which is always, <laughs> which is always nice on a more, on a more modern uh, jet. Think of things like phantoms and that. They seem to be absolutely covered with them. <clears throat> I may have to put that back in later. It's going to be a bit troublesome. Okay, so we've got one big bag. Uh, it would have been nice if they're packed separately. The only thing that seems to be separate is the clear parts. So we'll uh, open that up. Parts in the bag, I think worse than the loosey parts before we even start the build. Um, we'll actually we'll, we'll start the, with the clear parts. So on top here, been over there. <coughs> okay, they're pretty good. Uh, there's no there's no surreal seam to sand, which is always a good start. Um, they're fairly clear. There's not too much distortion there. I mean, there's nothing really to write home about. 
considering this is an older kit, I don't know the year of the original um, Hasegawa uh, kit, but um, it's pretty good. You know, perhaps not quite up to the standard of the most modern kits, but nevertheless, it's nice. I don't think you're going to have any real issues there with that. Then we come on to the plastic. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, gray sprues. Stay. Start off with the main uh, fuselage. Um, again, as I say, I'm not sure, quite sure that has to go in year, but it, it's it's a nice, fine, recessed panel lines. Um, is crisp molding. Uh, no f obvious flash that I can see there. Hopefully, you can pick that up reasonably okay with the camera if anything no i think maybe it's going to take paint nicely you've got reasonable amount of detail here in the speed brakes which is good uh, we've got little bits of detail in the side wall here i don't think that's replaced by photo etch in this case um injection pin marks they're there but i don't think once you put the cockpit tub in you're going to see anything uh, there is some injection pin marks in these parts, but they're quite shallow. They're not horrible. You know, it shouldn't take much just to clean them up. No, that's nice. <coughs> we have some small bits, um, pieces here, landing gear. And um, obviously we've got the kit seat parts, which is going to be replaced by the photo etch. Um, this is the ladder there again all the little parts seem to be well molded crisp um actually says made in japan on there um no that's nice nice very nice and sharp detail typical sort of hasegawa quality uh yeah i don't have to find something heavier to put on there <coughs> Um, beautiful actually, I don't know how well you can see that, the camera behave and focus in, um, very, very nice um, wheel bay there, a lot of pipe work, very detailed for, for, you know, out of the kit, out of the box sort of plastic, again we've got various little bumps and bits here, instrument panel there, obviously that you'd need to sand down if you're using them. The uh, photo etch, obviously, you know, if you didn't like the photo etch, you could, you could paint that. And it's quite nicely detailed. It should come up quite well. Again, there's no flash or anything particularly untoward that I can see there. Looks good. We've then got our, some more smaller pieces, wheels. Um, no weight on wheels there, they're just wheels, but they're, again, they're quite nicely detailed. And um, we've got some nice uh, fuel tanks here. These have been scuffed around in the box, or in the packaging a little bit. This is the trouble with when they're packed um, all together. Uh, interesting, it's raised lines, but it's quite possible that that's the way it's supposed to be. They're usually pretty good at getting these things right. There's a tiny little bit of flash here that will need to be cleared up, but again, it's nothing you'd really worry about too much. Again, very subtle. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera here, but there's nice subtle riveting, not too heavy on there. Yeah, there's another tiny little bit of flash there, but again, it's not really an issue. Uh, this seems to be actually the same. The two part two uh, sprues exactly the same, so we won't go over that again. <coughs> we've got a massive parts count here. Again, incredible for uh, you know for a normal plastic box kit. You know you don't really need resin in uh, wheel details there. You know there's a lot of pipe work. It's a phenomenal amount of detail in there. Again, very nice. Uh, very subtle raised, uh, sorry, subtle uh, recess rivets. Um, nice, very nice. There we go, so the intakes. Again, they've been scuffed around in the box a little bit. 
that that's broken but luckily the parts seem to be okay there is some injection pin marks in there that need to be cleaned up or filled in fact I suspect in this case I'm not quite sure how well you'll see them once all, everything's together I guess that's the decision you'll have to make once you put them together and then last of all we've got the tops of the wings again we've got um, some nice subtle recessed panel lines rivets etc all the parts seem to be quite clean and again there's no real you see inside I guess in this detail here doesn't seem to be any there is some injection pins I see that's what these are here um, they'll possibly need to be cleaned up I guess it depends how visible they are but no that's all nice that's a good little kit um, shall look forward to building that um, hopefully that was of some interest um, thanks for watching